I am the Kingsley Crusher, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. In our last video, we collected all of the gems, and, well, no, not all the gems, sorry. Ah, mixed them up. We got all of the crystals down here in this section and defeated Ripperoo. And so now we're going to move on in the snow area. These areas don't really have any names, so... I just call them what what they look like. Woo! All right, let's go, Coco. Oh, <laughs> great way to start out. That's fine. That's fine. Bundle. There we go. Yeah. Gotta jump on this right here. Oh. Well, oh, uh, let's get them wumpas. Alright, sweet. I do have to say, this music is very awesome. I love the music in this game. Not as much as I love the music in Crash Bandicoot Warp. Though part of that is the fact of that I grew up with that game, so of course I'm going to love it a heck of a lot more. There we go. Whoo, that was very <laughs> close, Coco. Yeah, we don't need to worry about those. Whew. There we go. And hey, we got our checkpoint, so that's sweet. Luckily I had Aku. If I didn't have Aku, then just straight death for me. Ah, like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're not gonna get me this time. Coco's too smart for that. But I'm not. So. <laughs> That's why it's fortunate that I'm playing as Coco, so she can be smart about it for me. Ah. <laughs> Until I inevitably <laughs> just screw it up for her. So yeah, for those of you that don't know this, the Insane Trilogy is pretty much my introduction to the first and the second Crash game, because the game that I grew up with was uh, Crash Warped, so I didn't really know any of the other games besides those. At the time it was just sort of information that I'm just like, oh I don't know this. Ah, dang it. And of course, at the time, I didn't really know what the internet was, so... <laughs> Coco, what was up with your eyes? <laughs> there we go. Boom. Yeah, so I n haven't really experienced the other two games the way that they really were, because obviously I'm playing this version and never played the original, so... Yes, people may say, oh, you're not actually playing the game, it's just a remade version. Well, if it's remade, they recycled assets from it, right? I'm pretty sure that that's part of what making a remake is. Boink! Yeah! Get them Wumpus Coco. And hit that imposter! Sorry, Penta, but I, I can't- I can't take you doing that. 
Ooh. Ooh. There we go. I don't think... Nah, we didn't get them all. Because he had that extra gem pass. Dang it! But hey, either way, we got the crystals, so yeah. I also just love... I just love Coco's little animations for getting the crystals and the gems. Ooh, you thought you could get me, huh? Oh, no, leave that to the water. <laughs> Which, looking at it now, water physics seem uh, pretty legit. Just, just now actually looking at them, because usually I'm not paying attention to the water, because I mean, I'm not playing like Subnautica or something, where that's pretty much all that you can talk about. Not entirely, of course, but it's a big thing to talk about. Sort of a main topic. Um, I think that the fact there was a secret path, but as I said, not going to do a 100% because I don't need to. There we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> Coco, you got some moves, man. Woo! Dang. Don't think that that's me doing well. I'm pretty sure that's all Coco. You know what? I'm just gonna... Yeah. Because, you know, I have the ability to do that. Whee! Whee! Love that. Ooh. Gotta... Yeah! Gotta line that up real good. And hey, look, we can take the death route, and why not? Okay. Oh. <laughs> of course. Hey, they don't call it the death route for nothing. And for those of you that don't know, the death routes are pretty much what replaced, uh the whole you can't die and get a colored gem thing well any gem in general but in this game I guess that's pretty much the case so yeah instead of having it be with the colored gems you can't get it a lot of times it will be hidden behind one of those a death route How could I have done this, Coco? Ugh. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! There we go, that's much better. Ah! Dang it. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll actually do it right this time. Whoop. Hey, there we go. That's much better. Now the trick for this is you get the gem and then die. Which you all may say that that's a bit odd because now I've just lost the gem, right? Oh. And got eaten by a plant too, apparently. But, no. As you can see in my inventory, I still have that gem, and also I died again. 
I caused myself to die on purpose and then I just die all the time. That's wonderful. But, yeah. So then, you can continue the stage and still get all of the boxes and get the other gem. All at once. It's pretty neat, actually. I'm gonna... Yeah. Woo! Get out of here, nerd! Ah, yes. Yeah, for that, you have to slide jump in order to actually get to these boxes. Whoop! Can be a bit tricky. But I did it pretty well. Ah. Okay, at least I had Aku. Make it count, make it count! Woo! <laughs> huh. Ah! Dang it! So now I need to do this again. And now I don't have Aku, so I can't really uh, use him to fall back onto. Come on, Coco. There you go. Time to show these boxes who's boss. There we go, yes. Um, actually, where's the... Huh. Well, I guess me uh, doing all that was pointless then, because I can't remember where the nitro detonation box is. So that sucks. But, eh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Alright. Woo! Yay! These are some of my favorite levels. Because they have a little baby polar in it. That and the music is just awesome for these stages for some reason. Ah! Well, <laughs> not a great start. I will admit, I think honestly, I've I <laughs> on my main game file for this because obviously I have a different file for my let's play and just regular play but it uh it definitely has a lot less lives than crash 2 does ah dang which a lot of people were probably like wait what how is that possible but yeah i found some of the things in this game to be sort of difficult actually Mainly because, like, with Crash 1, I sort of had an idea of what I was getting myself into. But for some reason, I had, like, absolutely no idea what was going to happen with Crash 2. And, yeah, so, it's still going to take me a while to actually memorize, ah, like, what happens, where, and all that in this game. Because, like... I don't have stuff memorized in Crash 1. I will say I have stuff memorized in Crash Warped though, so... Now I'm just waiting for whenever I play Crash Warped. I'm just gonna fail now because of me saying that. Oh man. Let's real quick hit this. 
so we can get that gem. I love that sound, by the way. Just that angelic sound. It's just so good. Ah, so worth it. Yeah! I will say, I think that one thing that they could have done with this game is, uh, because in some of the levels you can't play as Coco. Like, certain boss stages, actually almost all of the boss stages, and then you can't switch characters for any of the writing sections like the Polar or the Hog. Or Pura and the motorcycle and the water skiing crash warped. Which I th I honestly would have liked to have seen all of that. I feel like all of that would have been pretty awesome. Oh, I hate those things so much. The electric fences have killed me way more times than I'd like to say. Like that, for example. Ah. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Coco. We got this. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay. That. Okay, hey, I actually got that. Nice. Whew. Now let's take this. Oh, yeah. That's literally just to get the few boxes that are back there. And since it, that last gate has a jump, they're just like, oh, I guess that we can't do that and just be like, Hey, go back on your own, you know. Because that would have been pretty bad to expect that of us. Woo! You're safe, Coco. Well, for now. We're back at it again! Come on. Oh, what? Oh god, what? Wasn't, wasn't, uh, meaning to do that. Um, okay. I guess. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Let's hope I don't screw any more of this up. Ah, I'm gonna say no. Hey. Yee. Get these extra wumpas here. Get that life. These few boxes ready. Wee. Gotta get them wumps. Oh, okay, yeah. I need to go up there anyways. Come on. I wish that uh the that the slide would last a little bit longer. Just because of like sections right there, it'd be nice to be able to slide and be on the other side of it. But then again that could cause some issues with other jumps and stuff, so But that would be nice to have, though. Ah, yes. Get the crystal. Give me the crystals! <laughs> Alright, let's go, go, go! Woo! Not getting me, bro! Oh! Well, that almost had me. Yeah, give give that to me. There we go. Yes, all right. I'm good with that. 
That is the main reason why they give you that. Whee! Yeah! Way to go, Coco! <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Sweet. Now, okay, just to make sure I don't <laughs> goof it up like I did last time. Okay, yeah, so I only need the crystal in here now. All right. Let's go. I don't know why, but I really like these levels. Some of them can be a bit annoying, but a lot of them are just really fun and have some cool ideas, like the eel there. Like Naughty Dog. How... Ah! How genius of you. <laughs> I was about to say it until I was electrocuted. Oh look, it's Rat Boy. Listen, the only rat that I take advice from is Master Splinter, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the premises. Oh, what? Okay, and I just noticed those scrubbing things. They have the, uh, the Cortex N on them. So maybe these are Cortex's goons? In which case, Cortex, what are you doing? You're trying to kill me, but at the same time, you want me to get the crystal. Doesn't make sense, but you know what? I don't ask for platformers to really make sense. Sometimes I do, depending on whether or not they're trying to tell, like, a very, very in-depth story or not. But, hey. Mmm, yes, a lot of death. I have much experience with death. Yes, I love this. Just have a little secret back here. And this game, that is the number one thing that I really love that this game does, is that it has those hidden little secrets and stuff. Which I think that there's, there's only like two in warp. Ah. There we go. Now I could die here. Why would I do that? Actually, I wonder if this is technically considered a death route. Because I think that like, the music and everything changes as well. But, mm, I don't know. Let's make sure to... The music changes and everything, but I don't know if I would consider it a death route. Since it doesn't have like a skull on the wall or anything. Ah! Don't you dare! No! Okay... Listen here, buddy. I thought I told you to go home. That sounds so much like it's about to do the Crash Bandicoot Warp theme that I was literally just about to start humming it. There we go. Whee! Yeah! Atta girl, Coco! Oh, looked like, looked like she was held back a little bit. With her ponytail there. On the platform. Okay. Yes. This is another one! I, this happened to me before where I took the other way because I'm just like, ah, they're trying to fool me. So, that means that's the one that is... The one that is secret, because the last one that was secret is, uh, the one that has no wumpers. 
so I ended up going this way and it takes you to the end of the level but you never hit the crystal and I'm just like why and with all the nitro boxes it looks like it's supposed to be like another death route or something but no it's it's the end of the level Oh, man. And you cannot backtrack because you have to go down that hole that's right there. So, if you miss the crystal, you're just sort of screwed at that point. And it sucks. Whee! Here we go. And for everyone out there who is wondering, Yes, I have played the Wrath of Cortex, and the reason I'm bringing that up is, dear god, like, the- I just have to mention this now since I am on the monkey bars right now. Like, you see how fast Coco is moving right now. In Wrath of Cortex, for some reason, I don't know why, they decide, hey, let's slow it down a bit. They seem to be- uh, getting through here too fast and I'm just like what and I think that the Aku Aku mask like speeds that up a bit but not fast enough to make it worth it right sweet now we have 10 crystals and however many gems I haven't really been keeping track along with the colored one Crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. <laughs> Remember, I'm counting on you. Hmm. Yeah, Alright, whatever. I don't really care. Alright, now we face the Komodo Brothers. Who I didn't even know existed until playing this. I'm gonna say that they're pretty easy, and then I'm gonna die. So yeah, these guys are pretty easy. <laughs> Don't worry, after saying that, Karma's just gonna be like, whoa, 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 hold on, you can't say that. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Only one more attack to go. That's what I thought. I thought that he threw his swords on this face. <laughs> I love how Komodo Mo just looks so disappointed. He's just like, This is my brother, are you serious? <laughs> just gotta love it. Alright, sweet. Now we have uh, unlocked this area up here. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal, but now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Yeah, you don't have to remind me that. Counting on me to stop you. Anyways, that's all the time that I have for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!